Okay. Uh, what? So, yeah, first of all, we were headed to Wonderlust CrossFit the gym to work out after they already worked out. So, I was really excited to go. And then we took a wrong turn because Kenna here, she's like, left. And I was like, left? She's like, yeah, left. I'm like, okay. So, I kept going because there was only a right turn. And then she like, why didn't you turn? I was like, you said left. And she's like, yeah, that's. And she's like, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. So then we but went. on the maps, I think it does show left. I think on the maps, because when we were driving, it was opposite. Was it? Yeah. I don't know. So I do think I it don't remember. Left. Anyway. So that's why we had to turn around. And then, yeah, so there was that lift. And I remember, even when I went, I was having a little, you know, speed wobbles of, like, oh, shit moments. But then once I recovered, I, I remember hearing, like, Annie yell. And then I don't even remember hearing Kenna say stop. I just remember stopping. And when I stopped, I turned around, like, Kenna, like, already was picking her up out of this, like, ditch. And I'm like, what the, what, like, what just happened? So then I see them, like, walk over. So then, I, and then I'm, like, concerned there's two bikes in the middle of the street. So I hurried and brought both the bikes over. And then I look at Annie and Kenna and realize the severity of what's going on. I see Annie is, like, gushing blood from her nose. There's, like, two guys in the ditch trying to get the bike out. There's two other guys talking to Annie and, like, helping Annie and Kenna. I'm like, fuck, what do I do? So I hurry and help the guys with the bike to get the bike out of the ditch. And then I come back and then, yeah, Annie starting to realize like what's going on and like what has happened. She already did herself checks and it's really hot. <clears throat> and I'm just, and my, so my body temperature is already warm. And then I'm start freaking out even more because I understand what's going on. So yeah, we just try to assess the situation and one of the guys came over. Um, he brought like a first aid kit and, you know, he helped mend the, the wounds on there. He used like the, the spray or whatever it was and real nice guy and didn't speak you know English which is fine but he was still there to help and I you know I was really thankful for that but I think the three of us realized that we need medical attention like that's there's you know there's something wrong here so we drove back and even driving back was kind of sketchy right at that turn the pie kind of where we are <laughs> that turn was kind of sketchy like I had to break hard and I was like fuck if I like, Roll over with Annie again, like oh my god. But anyway, we get back and then yeah, as they mentioned, the the host came, took us to the hospital. Um, I'm just I'm I'm very happy that Annie's doing okay. I'm very happy that Kenna was able to attend her most of the time in the hospital because back then the hospital was really hot. And hot. I, I just I had to go to the front room because that's where the AC was. So. The entire time, the majority of the time, Kenna was back there. And we were in the hospital for what, four hours, five hours, four hours. We, we yeah, got there, there like three, for a second. four. Yeah, like we left the house at like 11. So anyway, yeah, it's been a long day, but I'm glad everyone's okay. Uh, me and Kenna, mentally, Annie, physically, like we're okay. We just need to figure out what's going on and her, mentally as well. Um, we just need to figure out the next approach tomorrow. Because, yeah. Yeah.